I don't, I don't even like Rem that much, but oh I think God. Ram is the best. You're, such a You're lying! No, I'm not lying. I do, such you do not fucker. like Ram more than Rem. I, no, I do. Oh, okay. Uh, tell me, who's on your body pillow? <laughs> you have no clue. Why bring this up? MD, get fucking shut down, dude. Go sit somewhere else, Ren. Oh, you God. have no oh, place God. here. All right, we're done. Ren is dead. What's up, everyone, and welcome to the Anime Izakaya Podcast, week one of the summer 2020 season. On this show, we'll be discussing the current season of anime every, every week. I'm your host, David, and joining me today, we have Stren. Hello. Next up, we have Ku. Hi there. And finally, we have Brian. What up? All right. Um, just some quick anime news. So we did get confirmed that the Demon Slayer movie is coming to North America, but like, no one knows when that's going to be. <laughs> We already knew. Like big clap, dude. I mean, it'll, it'll still probably yeah. come on Japan in October, but I don't know. Like if we're gonna be able to see in theaters here. I'm assuming they're playing like December or January, but again, we'll see. It'll probably be 2021. Hey, do you think they'll so like know, know, cosplay it as uh, Inosuke to the movie? No, uh, as 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 AMC or whoever, but we're show, show nah, place nah, Ice nah. Icon. You just gotta wear one of those. You just gotta wear one of those shirts that make it look like it, you know, and you'll be fine. That's not good enough, though, dude. That's copping out of dude, cosplaying. That's, well, that's all you can get, man. Oh. As, as you know, in COVID times, that's all you got, man. Oh yeah, dude. COVID. We're not even gonna be able to go to the theater. That's, that's what I was saying. Like, yeah, like if we're able to, see, if we can even see it by the time it comes out here. So, we'll see. It's gonna be a while. Yeah. I mean, if we are willing to travel to Wisconsin, their theaters are open. So. I don't want well, to go I mean, Wisconsin. <laughs> It's like now, now we drive at most, bro. Oh, no, so yeah. You're hitting yeah, but, no, but, yeah, but like, Wisconsin's like so much worse for COVID than Minnesota is. So, you really want to no, be in a theater Wisconsin. full of other Wisconsin people? Hey, I'm from Wisconsin, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You want to be in a theater of other Wisconsin people? For all we know, Corona's fake. This is all <laughs> fake news. Yeah, yeah right. definitely, dude. All we need to do is drink more bleach and whatever. Yeah, you can go ahead and do that too. What's <laughs> All right, so that's uh, that's the Steven Slayer movie, and then the only other thing is just um, Doctor Stone. It's coming winter twenty twenty one, so season two. I don't know why it's it's called Stone Wars, which is really dumb, but whatever. Season two, get hyped. It's it's the the war between um Senku and I forgot the other guy's name already, but but yeah, keep reading too. Yeah, get get hyped. So, so that's be good. that's just it for anime news. Um, we're gonna jump. Right in. So we had two shows that had the first episode already air. This week we had that we're watching. Yeah. yeah. So God of High School and Fire Force. We're gonna start God of High School. Um. So the first thing I want to mention too is that like I'm surprised that they actually cause they kept the Korean setting in. So like it's all like characters. Hell are... yeah, dude. That's so good, man. You know it's a Korean show when the MC is late for class and he doesn't have a piece of toast in his mouth, oh, dude. Gosh. It's great, dude. That's... <laughs> That's like a straight it's up the best shit ever. That's dude. a comment straight from Reddit. They haven't played that trope in I know. ever. I saw that. God damn it, I Brian. So oh, I don't think they did. Go ahead. So I'm surprised that like they kept the, the it's in Korea. They kept the Korean names and it's in Seoul, even though everything is still like Japanese voice actors. So that's still kind of weird, but whatever. Like it's it's fits the anime. So yeah, it's fine, man. There's a bunch of anime that has you know like it's supposed to be like it's supposed to take place in America with white people. And you're Japanese. It's fine. Yeah. I mean, so. to be fair, like, is there any other show on Crunchyroll that's like not subbed or dubbed in anime or Japanese? Uh, the only exception, not Crunchyroll, but they, they did do the Winter Sonata like anime version that was dubbed in Korean. But I think this is different Winter since like, Sonata. I think this is, this is different because yeah, it's it was made by a Japanese studio. So, your guys' thoughts on the opening song? Yeah, I thought it was right. okay, but like Tower the ending is, song Tower is way better. I think the ending song is better too. But I, I do feel like the the music selection does fit the uh, the show fairly well. So, so far, it's good. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I love yep. it. It's always weird hearing like like top seven EDM and like in the anime. It's not something you usually hear. But it's... we need more of it. All right, <laughs> it's hype. 
so for uh, so for um God of High School so far, I'm, I'm liking the animation, but I'm just I'm not used to the their how their faces look. Yeah, just because they have red noses you and, and faces, it's weird. Man. I don't know. I don't know if it's red noses, pointy noses, like Dude, white ears. Calm down, bro. You know, it's like the same kind of like issues that I had with uh with High but I ended up really liking High animation. I ended up being like one of my favorites. I mean, well, at least the first three seasons. I I like the character design so far because like <laughs> I mean it's pretty anime style, but like it's it's more distinct from the anime stuff. Like I feel oh like, dude. Like it really God, captures like the Korean style. Like I like I really like their character designs. Like oh, they actually the look characters like high school just, kids, you know. They're so different and it's great. There's no generic Chad there, like ever. Like they're all yeah, that's true too, yeah. The only thing that looked pretty bad is like when they showed him as like a kid. It basically just looked like a him, just two feet tall. Exactly. That's what <laughs> your kid self that's how looks you know like, it's him, right? man. Come on. It's bro. weird, oh, right? I mean, it, it, it looked fairly obvious. I mean, it looked exactly like him at whatever age he's at right now. I mean, assume dude, I cool. wonder if that's the same, like, whatever the fuck's on his forehead, like headband or whatever, if that's the same one since he was a kid. Or if he got just, like, a bigger version of it. Uh, so I was going to say, like, the main <laughs> character. So Jin, Jin Mori is the main character. Like, you guys know it's like he has the cross on his eyes. I'm assuming that's something to do with, like, the the main bad guy. He has, line, dude. he has his cross on the hand. You think that's connected? Wait, I, don't think, I don't think it's the same cross. Well, because like, the other, the, the 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 you know the main villain, like he had like a red like cross on his hands, and then like the main character, he had like white cross on his eyes. So I was wondering if that's like connected or something. Nah, I highly doubt it. No. It's just character design, you know. No. Are you, are you, yeah, are you, t- are you talking about like his like his eyes eyes? Yeah. Yes, his oh, eyes. I just assumed they were like star eyes or something. It was I thought it was just I, character design. No, maybe I'm just yeah. reaching. That's just something I noticed, but um. Hey, who knows, man? With Korean stuff, you have no idea. <laughs> just a What's hater. To mean, huh? Yeah, just a hater. Could be a, friend. Could be a degenerating disease, and we don't even oh know God, it. Yeah, you're just a hater. It's calm. Wow. I hate it. Damn, just, dude. I'm Holy. Hating. I'm not hating. I'm just talking about how just you know, there's it's you know, already it's popping off. off. It's I, I, I'm so far liking the show. Like, there's a couple scenes in the God of High School. I I, I, I laughed out loud. Like, like the first ones? when they. When they got, that random ass story where he's just like made up in his mind about how like, oh. Oh, no. like, yeah. like oh I need money for food he's like oh would you like some sushi you can't sell this here it's like oh man my son's dying of, of a brain tumor he's just like that's so sad I was like what the f-? this legit would be like our mindset like like <laughs> just like going through a story and just like hyping ourselves up it's like all right I gotta do something about this hell yeah but, uh, oh it, was also, it was also hilarious too with the with the lady where like he tells her the story. And she's like, balls. She's like, oh my god, it's so sad. And it's just like she's in on it too. Oh, and then of the, course, the like, heroine, uh, like Mira. The, yeah, yeah. Where um, basically like those two when they were like going through that story, hilarious. I thought it was awesome. Dude, she and also like... bike tired, bike tired of the face, hilarious as well. Dude, her... And then face the sign, pretty good as well. Yeah. I liked all of those parts. The uh, the, so Mira, like her character design changed completely as soon as she took her glasses off. Like I was so surprised. Dude, that's 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 all the time, man. You take the glasses off, you're serious. You know, that's that's a bunch of shows that do that. Yeah, but I don't know. So far, I'm like I'm loving the, like, oh, the comedy as well. And of course, starts off a battle royale, like because dude. You know. Okay, I love the fucking pop culture references they have. That they have streaming. They have all this other shit. Battle royale <laughs> kicking off. I'm like, dude, they understand who's watching this shit. How right long mm-hmm. did this come out ten years ago too? Just like Tower of God, or was this more uh, recent? Uh, the 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 webtoon. The, the, the webtoon uh, says it was published on April eighth, twenty eleven. So okay, I don't so know pretty when much Tower of God was, but so around almost dude. the same time as Tower of God around. So. Even with like the pop culture references, it was the same thing too. When like some lady's bag gets stolen, instead yeah. of somebody doing something about it, they just record. Although it. you you could yeah. tell, well, at least me, me, Brian, and Ku could tell. Like the the guy who was rapping, it definitely sounded better, and it would def- sound better in Korean than it did in Japanese. I mean, it is what it is. It just reminded me of B from Naruto, to be honest. <laughs> Dude, B is awesome. <laughs> B's B's so, he's such a good character. But I don't know. Uh, I feel like I went off like a long about the comedy, so I'll just sit back for oh, a bit. Oh, you, dude, that's no, like... you didn't miss about the best part, man. This man, the man, MC is a G, man. He walks up to the dude that came in strapped up. He's like, bro, let me check your pants real quick. <laughs> Pulls it down. And then secretly, he's like investigating how strong this dude is. Like, damn, his pants were heavy. He's like, you like cute shit too? And he turns around and he's like, it's not about what's on the outside. It's what's on the inside. And he's like, you want to see? And he's like, no, nah, I'm good, bro. Puts his pants back up. Like, <laughs> It's the best shit ever, man. It has the most subtle 
just the humor ever. I actually, and I, I, as I say, I like, I like how um in the battle royale, like they actually mentioned how like you know any style goes. So like, so I'm interested to see like what other like, type of fight like fighting style we'll see. So like, oh dude, I'm really so excited because it's like why it's, would like, you do it first if we could bring weapons? You know, uh, I'm always interested in seeing more martial arts. So like it's like so the main the main guy um Jin and then his the other guy Han they both like hand in hand while the the girl is like she has the sword so but everyone else is doing like crazy stuff so I'm interested to see how they develop that throughout the series I I assume actually this battle royale shouldn't take long because it's the entrance to the school but yeah man you gotta wipe out the ones that do not matter (laughs) gotta take them out quick uh I also oh sorry go ahead Brian no go. Nope, go. Go. Oh, no. Dude, you go. Nope. Somebody just go. Okay. I also like how with like with the watches it just shows like their level power or I'm, I'm gonna just say oh, power yeah, level. Yeah, that's and then and then they haven't shown like the main like the main like you know MCs or anything. We ha- we have no idea yet. But I actually wanna see like I, I think that's a pretty cool thing too. But okay, that's all I got. <laughs> go ahead, Brian. I mean, going off of that, I feel like sometimes that thing is sort of skewed because they went, they like a group of like 10 people ran up to the MC, be like, oh, he looks weak. I'm like, really, dude? Does, <laughs> does their power, does your scouter not say shit? It's like, what, Goku did they hiding what level power and then out of, no, it didn't say anything. Okay. They were like, oh, he looks weak. And then they all just bum rush his ass and he destroys all of them. I'm so hyped for the show, dude. When they cut, when they left that cliffhanger oh, right yeah. before they're about to duke it out, I got so mad so fast. <laughs> I was like, dude, I got so invested. I already love this show, dude. I hope it keeps up. Oh, best show this season. I'm calling it right now. Damn, Brian. Fuck Sword Art. <laughs> fuck ReZero. Snap fucking SMD. Fucking. Damn. Brian, you're the lots strong, lots strong lots feelings. Of you, sir. But I don't know. I think this is the first. Uh, show that you've shown a lot of emphasis or enthusiasm for so that's not hell bad. yeah dude it's like okay you got tower of god is korea's one piece you got god of high school korea's dbz man all right what's that's what's the nose plus then what's that korean DBZ? what's nose plus what do you mean that's like that? the other like popular korean webtoon that's also getting anime dude really hold on yeah nose plus is, was also announced so how do you spell that and oh, no, nose no. and then blesses B L E S S E. But do you know? Do not have to worry about that. Was just that was just a rhetorical question. But um, yeah. Overall, like it seems like we're all super excited for it. I, I really enjoyed this first episode and the second half was, was good. really good. Yeah, it brings up. Oh, dude. Also, I can't get enough of this show. The advertising they put on their like stadium, they have Webtoon and Crunchyroll as like, their advertising. Dude, that, that was, like, was like best that shit ever. I was like, dude, mint. That didn't Y'all know how there. to do shit. That didn't need to be mint. there, but whatever. Yes, it did. No, dude, I, you get the... you. I was so immersed in the atmosphere, dude. I felt like I was no, in the stadium. I was like, yeah! When you have, like, on, oh, no, for me, like, when you have real-life advertising and stuff like that, it's just, it, like, that. that's what breaks my immersion. It's just... So. What? I mean, maybe what? It was like serious... Dude, come on, man! You, yeah, you don't feel like you're there in the stadium looking at it, like, dude, they're beating each other's ass. Whatever. Okay, you're a hater, David. <laughs> I'm a hater just because I don't like real life advertisement. In yes. Shows. Again, I think it's fine because it fits the the theme, the genre fairly well. I mean, well. it, it I mean, wasn't it was intrusive, sure, but it was just. Yeah. That's alright. I, I, I agree with Brian. I thought it was cool. Honestly, I'm gonna be. I'm, I don't really even remember seeing it, so what? I apologize. It was like a three, four second screenshot in a sense. It was like you know how like how they do like the like the paparazzi shots, like and they have like the, the background take pictures of that it was over there. Like, they had showgirls. They had two showgirls. Dude, yeah. the <laughs> fucking nurses, dude. Oh my. <laughs> oh, I, I think I missed this. I have no idea, bro. Clearly, you didn't give a shit about this, so I'm gonna need wow. you to, I, dude. I'm pulling up a screenshot right I now. Have the, okay, fine. Let's continue. <laughs> Keep it rolling. I'm, no, no, I, I, have, I have the episode still. Or I have it. I, I mean, I don't streaming have... on Crunchyroll. Yeah, I think we said like, yeah, pretty much all we need to say for the first episode because it's it was a nice setup, and then we're just basically waiting for next week's episode to. Hopefully, yeah. like, finish the I feel like random, random, yeah. I feel like random comedy or like how 
Brian says, like DBZ, give it a shot. See what you, what you think. I don't really see it as DBZ. I see it more of like as like um like Kenichi. Yeah, I see more oh. as like Kenichi than other like martial arts shows. But but they do have their power level on their watch though. I know it's I know it's a level, but I'm just gonna say power okay. level. So for uh DBZ relating stakes. So so yeah, say hype. We all know we all know Brian is. So we'll get ready for next week's episode of. Uh, I love it. Uh, I love high school. All right, best Brian, that, 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 yeah, 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 that, that yeah. screenshot you sent. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't notice the background. Excuse. Um, I mean, okay. I guess there. Yeah. I yeah. Be I, uh, dude, I don't remember the, the background <laughs> at all. I did not see that. He was too quote unquote immersed. <laughs> yes. All right. With the plot. <laughs> All right, so that's gonna be it for guy of high school. Uh, we're moving next to Fire Force. I guess I don't really have much to say because like this is pretty much a filler episode. Basically, filler kind of recap like, with all the my characters. my two cents. They did a really good job of recap, like reintroducing for like split seconds of who the like the characters are in case people like completely forgot. They did a really good job of reintroducing them in that big ass boss battle. But after that first half, dude, I was like, yo, what the fuck am I watching? The second half was yeah. purely off of like a nude calendar. Yeah, and it was Fan only service. dudes. I thought it was hilarious actually. A dude, was like, bro, what? Dude, I, who's I, watching? I, who's the fans of the show? I feel like it's the other people. Uh, bro, yeah, it's, you gotta feel everyone, sir. Come on now. Yeah, there was there was a poll um, in Japan where it's like it was they did rankings for like anticipated shows or summer, and then like they split it by gender too, and like the female side had Fire Force in their top five. So. Really? Oh, oh damn. So it makes sense now. <clears throat> That's I mean, awesome. Don't get me wrong, I can appreciate a good physique, but I felt really uncomfortable watching well, that. Dude, man. I thought it was hilarious. But it, was it, so dude, fucking double Cobra for the win, man. Oh, well, well, also, <laughs> Brian, <laughs> Brian, also remember the studio that does Fire Force is the same one as JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. So, oh, uh, wait, really? do it. yes, David dude, Productions. I, oh, god, I think I put a couple notes for like his like funny parts as well for that. Um, it was basically the whole thing when they were just like giving their explanation about how like, oh like where'd you guys place and blah 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 blah, and they're giving out the reasoning and then uh and then um the MC just like still last place huh? <laughs> and then, uh, I thought that was hilarious and also the whole thing where he's just like oh man what about like the girl from like the fifth division I was like want to see that then all of a sudden then yeah, oh, he Ivana. flips the yeah. yeah then he flips to the page and it's just like basically the gravel and he's just like oh and he's just yelling at the page yeah. and they're like no no it's all dudes <laughs> <laughs> or the or oh, when the oh, well, when um. um the lieutenant, the guy with the glasses, had to wear the hat that says, was it? Oh my god. Like, oh, nudist, 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 nudist bitch. Or, n- nudist bitch. I was like, <laughs> what the fuck? That was pretty good, too. And then, like, uh, and then Shinra, who's about to, like, you know, be the man and, like, take the fall, and then they all blame him before he could do that. They blame him anyway. Yeah. What a bunch of bricks. No, it was, I don't know, like, even though it was a filler episode, I was, like, I still thought, like, the comedy was spot on. Even the first season of Fire Force, I thought like all their comedy bits were pretty funny. Besides like the like where they were trying like forcing it. Yeah, basically except Tamaki, that part. Where yeah. Forced, yeah, yeah. Basically, that's like the ruining, like the part that just ruins it. But everything else, like that, I don't know, like that, like like him and then uh, Arthur, like their back and forth things, hilarious. The uh, um, well, I mean, at least the fight with a big infernal thing, like again showing off the animation. So hopefully, they'll keep that up it. for this season. Yeah, because um, I guess yeah. I guess to recap from last last season, because they. Because they just like escape the fight like, with show, so we'll see, we'll see what if they do a rematch. And then like the opening showed like more of the the fire the was it the 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 cult like the Evangelion Evangelius like um, officers really too. Yeah. Yeah. And then and then like the the preview for next week's episode it just basically shows like um more of the actual story like Shinra like God, now I can't remember what it's, but it, it showed like previews of the actual story so it's. Kind of disappointing yeah. you didn't see that this week, but it's, it's I'm still like I'm so excited for next week's episode just because like the animation was pretty good. So I, I think the first web like um episode kind of going back into the show, I always I actually like like the first episode being like in, like a recap slash filler. Like I'm perfectly fine with it. Um, it's more of just kind of like re- refreshing everybody on like the whole thing. Like I forgot the man, the MC's name. Um. It, it, like that's like how like, like even though like it felt like we just like it, what the show just ended what was it um, um fall fall yeah it feels like already it's been forever like i don't remember anybody's name besides like uh benny maru that's it oh, like, yeah. i don't remember anybody it's, else it's pretty weird because like because going going through like this week's episode we're basically recapping 
show that we were talking about on the first season of this podcast. So, so <laughs> just like, yeah. Yeah, whatever. Almost that happens. Circle, but yeah, but that's like basically, fine. um, that's, yeah, that's all I want to say for Fire Force. Nothing really. Happens so the one so. thing I, like, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Aimer, but I thought that like the opening was kind of, was fairly generic. Dude, everyone like, on Reddit loves the opening for, for Aimer. It sounds like all of our other songs, though. Like, the, 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 people never heard of Aimer. Like, it, it, like, I mean, it's a good song, but it sounds like a lot I of just, our other songs. I always think of Fate's Day when I hear Aimer. Exactly. Like, that, that song, that song reminded me, like, so much of, of Fate's, Fate's Day. Day. It's like, this is basically, yeah, this, this is basically like the Fate's Day song. And that song is awesome. But it's just like, yeah, I don't know. Like, it's fine. I don't hate it. I'll, I'll, mm-hmm. I'll probably like every time I watch the episode, I'll watch the opening as well. I mean, I'm sure it'll the grow, animation grow thing's pretty good too. So, oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. So that's gonna be it for um, Fire Force, and then so that's the two shows that actually aired this season, and then the rest of the shows they don't air till um, this week. So we I, I, before David, uh, I think those are the only two shows that like all five of us are watching. Sasha uh, as well, but he's not here. Yeah. I think those are the. Only two shows I think all five of us will actually be talking about, I think, for now at least. Yeah. Um, unless anybody else knows if Sasha's going to be watching yeah. anything else. Or, you know, Peter gets back on to talk about One Piece. Or, yeah. <laughs> or if we got Peter. But the one thing with um, with that, though, is like, I don't know if Sasha's planning on watching God of High School, so we'll need Brian's like pep talk for next episode, <laughs> uh, for next week to uh, get him to watch it. Hell yeah. I believe. Sorry, David. That was all. All right, yeah. So the rare moment of previews, and we basically already did these previews like last season because before they got delayed. So I guess it's gonna be a repeat of, of like. Be quick, though. Yeah. So yeah. So we're gonna start with ReZero, probably like the most anticipated like sequel of the show. I I should mention too, um, they did the director's cut. Um, they aired that winter, and basically the only thing they changed, like the very last up, ep- the last scene of the very last episode, they basically like showed um like Subaru and Amelia like in like the carriage going back to the mansion and like and basically Subaru was talking about Rem and then Amelia says who's Rem and then it cuts off there. So that's what happened in the director's cut of the very last episode. So wait, didn't that happen in the regular one too? No. No. Nope. Oh. So basically where I start the show of like that's the that's a cliffhanger right there where it like you have to figure out what happened to Rem. Well basically like to recap, um, the white whale that they were fighting, like if you get hit by the, like the smoke of the white whale, then you basically, like you lose your existence and people forget about you. So, like, so we'll see what happens with Rem next season. And then, I actually, did there was a there's one PV that they show like I think last year that I actually watched where it's like some other Amelia showed up and a bunch of dead bodies. So. So I think that's that's the tone they're gonna set. How like I guess it's gonna be even more dark than it was when it first came out. So, but... of course, yeah, Red Zero will always have dead bodies. <laughs> Why wouldn't they? Yeah. Um, I mean, is this everyone else's like? Well, besides Brian's, is this everyone else's most anticipated show for this season? Yeah, I'm not even watching it. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, besides Shred, how about you, Ku? You're my. <laughs> My only, my no, only hope. I, yeah, I really wanted to come back, and then I was also looking for. Uh, you guys might hate me for it, but I also wanted to see Sword Art come back as well. So, oh please do it. Dude, it's the same, dude. Honestly, oh. bro, I'm jumping back on the Sword Art bandwagon. Yeah, you gotta I'm finish. climbing on, Goo. Dude, the P. Okay, hold on. Okay, well, when we get we'll to Sword, Sword Art, Sword Art. Yeah, yeah, we'll say that for Sword but Art. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's ReZero and Sword Art is my. It's the one I was waiting for, like, all year, so. Then you were just disappointed that you got to, they both got delayed. Dude, not as much as high Q, but that's okay. another topic. Okay. <laughs> okay. Damn, we're just hitting all the sore spots today. All right, yeah. It's okay. Go keep our conversations. So, uh, yeah. I, so I don't really have yeah much safe about ReZero besides like I think it's pretty much like a lot of people's most anticipated show for. Um, this oh also I should, I should mention too this is important that it's gonna be split so the first twelve episodes is summer and then take a break fall and then we finish in winter. So you so. mean take a break for for fall and winter with COVID and it'll be come back in spring. Well, no, it was I I think it was already meant to be like split already and then, oh wait yeah because it's supposed to air in spring and then I think they're gonna take a break in the summer and do fall so I think it was just pushed back a season so. So hope, right. I'm just hoping that like we don't get a cliffhanger 
like like they always do. In, you get with, cliffhanger with ReZero because our last last season they, there was a huge. I'm pretty sure it was a huge cliffhanger mid season as well, but. Overall, I'm, well, I'm I'm glad I watched the director's cut because like I'm, I'm like, I remember a lot more things from the show and like, I actually I actually sympathize a little bit with Subaru more after watching and go through all that shit again. So, wait, you See, didn't, you didn't sympathize with them like while he was going literally mentally it's insane because, like, and losing his shit. It's because right, the second, I didn't sympathize with that at all. It's because the like first the, time. the second half, um, he was like. Just, he was just being like really pissy in that second half, but he's a bitch. That's what it but is. But then, like, you know, watching it, like, I, I, I started to sympathize him more, like, especially when he kept doing the repeats. He was falling into the trap. No, all right, I'm, I would, I would defend him, but uh, it's not the time. But when the when when it starts, dude, I don't know. There's so much I want to say about Suru. Like, he deserves more <laughs> than you guys are giving him shit for. All right. This well, also, Scott- there's also the hate because he rejected Rem, but like. No, no, I get that. I get that. I mean, but this guy has gone through so much shit. You guys got to cut him some some slack, well, man. Like, I, I, I do now. Yeah, after watching it. Yeah. All right. Good. Good. Because when the show starts, hmm. right. We'll see. I'll, I'll be watching the show through you guys. No, so whatever, it's good. What you, wait. Maybe Why aren't you, guys, you watching it? I don't really care, dude. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I watched the first season and I'm like, that's that's enough. I, I hate to me. A big part of these these shows, if I need to get to watch these shows, I have to like my, the MC. I hate this MC. Just bro, because you didn't choose your girl, bro. No, that's no, no, to, Eddie. To be, fair, no, to be fair, I don't even like my, like my favorite is Ram. I don't, I don't even like Ram that much, but oh I think Ram is the best. You're, you're lying. Fucker. No, I'm not lying. I do. You're such you a did not fucker. like Ram more than Ram. I, no, I do. Oh, okay. Uh, tell me who's on your body pillow. <laughs> you have no proof. Why bring this up? Get fucking shut down, dude. Go sit somewhere else, Ren. Oh, you God. have no oh, place God. here. All right, we're done. Sren is dead. Yeah, we need to call that done. one. Oh. You're done, Sren. Kid I. <laughs> All right. That's oh, Brian just laid the shutdown on ReZero. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. Yo, yep, any time. Go. We're going to move on next to. <laughs> Get Rex, Sren. <laughs> All right, we're gonna move on into Snafu. This is your time to shine, Stren. Dude, he can't yeah. come back from that. <laughs> He's done. This is my anticipated show yeah. of this of the season of the year of the years Fi- ahead the, as well. The final season of Snafu. I should mention too. I act, I rewatched one and two, and also rewatched the OVA, Stren. So I'm all. You ready. did? Oh my god! Thank God. I still okay. I still like Yukino. You know, it's my favorite, but I appreciate your help but... more. Okay. Oh, also, I pre- I actually, well, I also appreciate Yui more. Like, I didn't care about her at all the first season, but then like here, like I actually, I appreciate that she's like she's just like you know a, a a teenage girl that's like that's caught with like the clicks of like the high school that you know Hachiman always shits on, and like, yeah. <laughs> and so I feel more bad for her because she feels she's she has such a hard time like standing up to like like to the click. And like she really sees comfort in like the, the the service club. So the the only time I ever felt bad for Yui it was like co- kind of towards the end of the second season when it's obvious that Yukino uh, likes Hachiman and she's like trying to kind of reach out for Yui for help and Yui's just like I don't know what the hell to do here because you know Yui has those yeah. feelings as well. It was kind of like just like a stop and it's just like well shit this is a very like awkward situation. But she's like still like attempting or trying to like do something or help. So like because um, I always thought she was like. I always thought she was just like the, like just the random like the random girl just like pops in. But I think, like she's actually a good friend to, like Hachiman and Yukino. So I appreciate that. But I still yeah. I still don't pair her up with Hachiman. No, I think it's gotta be either you know Yukino or Hiroha. Like I said so many times, man. No matter what the like the ending is, if Hachiman ends up with one of them, I'm gonna cry for the other two. If he doesn't end with any, if he if he doesn't end up with any of them, that's fine. Whatever. Unless Hachiman is destroyed because of it, then I'm gonna feel bad for Hachiman. Oh, Honestly, and then, and then like so, I, I did, that man just needs to be happy. I don't even care. So when I was rewatching the second season, like because the first time re- I watched it, I was so confused about what was going on with like Hachiman and all of them, and like and and even like when he was like when he started crying in the club, like I was still like confused, like what the whole thing was about. I still I I kind of understand, but I still like it's still kind of confusing because he he says he wants like like in the subs they say he wants like the real thing, and like it's. 
a lot of it has to do with, like with Japanese like 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 culture where it's like you don't say like what's on your mind so it's hard for all of them to say exactly how they feel and then Hachiman was saying how he thinks that that people like you know caring he thinks like he thinks so he still thinks that relationships are superficial and that that it's not that's why he wants the real thing he wants like a real like connection with people and so I kind of understood more rewatching the second season so the the one thing I'm gonna say about that is like I know for me I I mean I'm I'm just gonna say on for the stream it, I had it I was watching with the different subs yeah uh, it was a, it was a different sub group and then they from everybody that was saying like you know Reddit and everyone like they said that they that their subs were so much better than what the other ones were like on Crunchyroll and stuff where they were like trans they weren't like translated well compared to like to with, with the light novel and it was like really hard to follow yeah um and then because like because i watched because uh, I, I will still for this season i would assume that the other people that i'm you know what that they're going to be doing the subs for i'm going to be watching it on those subs um because it's just like they're just too good um and i'm also this is probably going to be one of the only shows i'll probably will go to reddit daily space just to try to understand stuff yeah, because it's spoilers, like spoilers man like too many people like on reddit just like yeah. spoiling shit <laughs> Yeah, I just have to go to the episodes where where it's just like, it's supposed to be just like the talk for that episode. Because I mean, I'm not gonna be watching it right away anyway, right when it airs. No, you're It'll not. have to be later in the day. So, well, no, I mean like because you know, with work and everything, like it's just like yeah, I'm not, not gonna be able to get through it to like five. Well, yeah, but like you can still um, watch that day and then go on the Reddit thread afterwards. Yeah, but but usually though, at that point though, if there are any spoilers, like, they're, they're caught at that point, and then it's just basically like the higher ones are just in a race to the top. Yeah. So uh, I've never gotten spoiled from any thread I've looked at yet. Not, through, not like, spoiled directly, but so many people just throw out hints that like should be spoiler tags. I think I think Reddit's gotten better at that. I think they've they've actually like caught those better. Okay. So um I because I, I still haven't seen those either. But I mean like you know looking at like you know Facebook through country roll or Twitter, completely different. They spoil the shit out of that. And same thing with YouTube as well. Okay. So I avoid all those. It's basically Reddit's gonna be my only my only like source where I'm gonna be looking up stuff. But it's gonna be I'm gonna want to understand everything in this show. But um but yeah, for like the for like the Yukino is still my favorite, but Iroha is so close. <laughs> like after that OVA, like I love I like Iro Iroha so much more. Um and then Yui's there. Um she's like the distant third, but at the same time, like I mean I still like all three of them. I will cry for whomever, man. <laughs> When this show ends, oh, so does no, nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, but, how about you, Koo? Are you yeah. excited? Eh. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> You're just trying to start shit for right, everything. Well, that's cool. Yeah, that's, I'm with Koo too. That's, that's, yeah. Brian, you're the one that basically went ape shit on me. Yeah. After the second so season. Fuck this show. You got me. So <laughs> okay, hold on. When, whoa, whoa, when whoa, was the second season? Part. Huh? I think like twenty. You, I waited twenty fifteen five 2016. years. Okay, okay. If five. I, okay, if anything, years. if anything, we should be blaming David for this. He's the one that told us two years. <laughs> I, okay, the, you know, like if it would came out like a year, two years after, you know, I feel like I could have related more. I would have cared more, but no. David's gonna David, five get, fucking years, dude. But aren't you so excited that it's right? Okay, when that no. first episode hits, Brian, it will all come back. Uh, I honestly, it's been Everything. five years. I probably need to rewatch it. I'm not uh, even joking. Well, probably. I, I I watched it multiple times, so I'm good. I've watched you... multiple, both seasons multiple times. Dude, I love the show. I love Hachiman actually. Well, Hachiman I'm... is my favorite anime character of all time. Uh, because this is the first, my first time rewatching it, and like just watch, just rewatching the first season, like it was really enjoyable. Like going back to into this world and then like just hearing Hachiman the first the first scene was like so much like it was so much comedy and like so much more lighthearted. and the second scene just got super serious but yeah, yeah. It's definitely not comedy but dude could you imagine if they ended it with like a school days ending <laughs> oh, I think it would confuse pissed. everybody dude I don't even know what to think like it's just like it'd be like I don't know man this guy's too good of a writer he wouldn't do that he wouldn't do that to Hachiman it's the appropriate twist, though. Dude, you know, you uh, know this, this writer loves like hot cop out bad that. That's a that's basically like just an absolute train wreck ending. That's just like you know, fuck this series ending. I don't think he would I do mean, it. It only works in like school that. days because the 
the show was already trash to begin with, so that's why no one cares about the ending. Uh, sure. Okay. <laughs> we'll go. Yeah, cool. Yeah, so I, I guess I guess I guess it'll be me and Sarah now to carry carry the show then for this for this summer. No, I'm not, I'll watch it, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, see. we'll win Brian back. Just give it a couple episodes, Hachiman, you're just pouring out his feelings, and bam, right there yeah. again. Friend, you if you watch ReZero, I'm sure Brian would watch this with a more yeah, uh, dude. open mind. Get the hell out! No, he won't. That's just a bait now at this point. Uh huh. Okay. I, yeah, I'm, I guess I'm, not... I'm I'm never finishing Snafu. I'm big. Fuck you. <sighs> <laughs> hey man, I gotta watch a show. You gotta watch a show. We're all in this together. Okay? Hey, I'm watching God of High School. Doesn't that count? No, I mean we all universally <laughs> agreed to watch this, anyways. Yeah. Oh god, we'll see. We'll see, man. We'll see how I feel. I can't. I can't stand Subaru. If, if he somehow gets better, maybe. But oh my god, that man. Oh, and I know. I know this is late. But, but, I know this is late. But speaking of God of High School, I forgot to mention too, Brian, that um, it's the same anime studio that's doing the last season of Tekken Titan. So. Not bad. Uh, granted, Attack on Titan is gonna be really weird. It's gonna be weird, if yeah. They, if they use the exact same animation, it's I don't think it's gonna be exa- exact weird. same, but like they're they're some they're hit or miss. So we'll hopefully they don't miss on Attack on Titan. They seem to be doing well so far. Got high school, but I mean, yeah. honestly, it wouldn't be the first time Attack on Titan like <laughs> dropped the ball on a season. But yeah. how, how do they do? How do they do in uh, High season four though? That wasn't them though. That was someone. That, one else was it still, it was still Mappa though, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure it was just a different team at Production IG. Hmm. I think it was. A diff- oh, I think it was, okay. it was gotcha. Production IG still, but it was a different director. Gotcha. Okay. And also, like, because like, Wit, w- yeah, because Wit and Mappa they're they're totally separate from Production IG. There's a, there's a subsidiary, like, just separate like, from the so other anime studios. Why would they just like all of a sudden just decide to change the studio the final season? Like, why Tekken, why, Tekken, why do Tekken they do Titan? that? Yeah, Attack on Titan. Because, like, why change the high Q stay animation too? You know, I think because like, like well, I don't know about high Q. That's that's weird. But I think Attack on Titan is because with CEOs, but they're probably busy with Great Pretender, and then I'm assuming um, Vision Saga season two. Oh, and also like, uh, and also there's like uh, some some stuff like weird business business politics with like with the production committee. I'm pretty sure. That, fucking uh, politics, the, dude. <laughs> the, the business, the business side. I'm pretty sure the business side wanted, like, they wanted to be cheap with the second time, and like, and you know, the original studio didn't want to. <laughs> dude, I just so. want to cry when you said that, man. <laughs> Why do you want to be cheap for a show like that? That's what that, I dude? hear. I don't know if that's true or not. So, oh, like, my and you're right at the end. Why ruin it? No. Because that's oh because the way God. that's the way that the anime industry works is that like you gotta go for the least lowest risk. What well, risk? You're fine. You're Titan, bro. You don't Be- because oh. the way the anime industry works is that is that you pay, they you split up the cost of like of like ten or like fifteen different companies, and so that way like if if like if things go well or decent, you make your money back. But then, like, if things fail, you don't lose that much money. But then, if you get a hit, you don't get to share like the huge revenue. You just, you bas- you're basically a contractor for these these companies. So. Oh my god, dude! I fucking seems like a flaw. I fucking hate politics and everything it stands for. Well, it's not like politics; so it's business. Stupid. That too, dude. I mean, this is also why the anime man, industry. Man. This is also why the industry is in is in crisis. So, yeah. Fuck. Besides that, that's besides the point. That's, that's all I got. Yeah, that's it for Snafu. <laughs> we can't move on. <laughs> we can't move on to show with Geki. <laughs> oh do- my oh, god, oh, I forgot on. this show do we, existed. Do we want to do Shoku Geki or Sword Art first? I think Sword Art. Sword, and then okay, move on we'll to do Sword Art then. Yeah. Sword Art. <laughs> Tell me, who, why are you so excited for Sword Art? I just need the fucking story to end, okay? <laughs> and you can't lead the show. Well, you can't. You can't leave the show with 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 Sinon and then like not expect me to get hyped for it because she is my favorite well, character in the series. Cool, you say end, but like after after the allization arc, the light nodes are still going on. Oh, are they? Well, anyways, so it's I never just, ending. I just want to see the end to this, just because I hope that they, they do it justice. Uh, like I mentioned before, like the opening, like the the first part of the two part series, like I enjoyed it so much that I hope that they would somehow close it out well in a sense 
But <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea how it's going to end up. Um, but <laughs> we we've been through so much together that I hope that uh, that this <laughs> could so much of Brian's rant is what I remember from way back when we did this first podcast in the fall. Starting out, that's all I remember. Yeah, basically. But yeah, I don't know what happens after this. If like, what's the arc after this? I, I don't. Uh, I don't. Another know. game. Another I, game yeah. in another world. Because it's fucking author. Yeah. Oh my god! I just watched the PV for the second season of fucking Sword Art, man. I already don't like it. I'm getting like a <laughs> solid fucking five, man. No, dude, not yet. We just we gotta we gotta see how play. Oh. Talk about the PV. That's not spoilers, go right? Ahead. Go ahead. I don't care. Fucking like, bro, like they he's just surrounded by literally all the chicks of the show and they use the power of fucking love and friendship to revive his ass from a goddamn coma that lasted years, it seems like. David's favorite. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, I don't know. Like the whole like resolution for like this guy, for, like every single fight is always basically just bringing everybody from every other game into like one game. And it's just like he's done it in the movies. It's just like, it's just like, dude, it's I don't know. I really don't know what to think, but apparently this guy thinks cross-platform is easy. <laughs> it is. It's very easy, apparently. You know, there's nothing that goes behind it. It's just it's just easy. It's just it's just perfect. But I it's I don't know, dude. It's it's I got nothing. Okay, so like, oh go ahead, go. Yeah. So like you know how some people they um like they they have this tendency to always date people with like red flags, but they choose to ignore them and look for like the good in them. <laughs> It's kind of like that that significant other that I'm seeing. Like, there's all these red flags, and you know it's bad for you, but you you just keep trying, hoping that there's something inside that'll that'll make it all worthwhile. You know, that's 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 sort of online right now. So, <laughs> I, I I'm hoping something comes out. And then with the with the ending of this arc, hopefully the the final or the the, the next arc, they'll they'll do it justice. Like like I said, the, she the justice because you know four season wasn't enough. Yeah, it's not enough. All right, I want something to. I need it to end on a good note. All right, yeah, like, I can't believe all my all my time on this, and like they're ending it like this. I, I refuse to believe it. I'm sure something good will come out of it. I'm just, uh, we'll I, I'm just more mad that like so many people was hyping up this arc. They kept saying it was like the best arc of like the light novels, and it's it's just as bad as the other ones, basically. Yeah, but again, I've I've never read the light novels, so I'm not sure like what. What they were looking for, like maybe the stuff that they were looking for, towards to, like it, was, it didn't. Because, oh, no. I think it's just because it was super long, so people thought like it was maybe okay. Maybe it's I don't know. I don't even want to say that it was better than light novel because I don't trust this guy's writing. Like, well, a lot of people though that met, like uh, they commented on the light novel, they said like, oh, like the anime like did it justice. So I'm thinking, well, the light novel must be trash. <sighs> yeah, that's the case. No, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, just so many people were just hyping up the light novel just because it, like, it was super long. It was like six volumes so like and that means nothing to me it was, it was like it was, it, was, it was the longest arc of the, the series so far and then looking at wikipedia right now says yeah so uh kawahara plans on writing one more big arc called sword Art online U- initial ring that will go back to the real world and it's the first arc not based on the original web novel so, oh, God. oh see there you go there's 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 hope already so... something original <laughs> Yeah, what can go wrong? He says one more big arc. I'm not. Ex- <laughs> I don't want to keep watching no. this show. I, it's I don't know. It's like I like I played like almost all the sword art games except Fate of Bullet so far, and I thought the story in those were actually really good. And also like a lot of the characters as well, like in like that are like in the game only are some of my favorite characters that I think are better. Like they're they're better than the show, but at the same time with the games, they they go more in depth with the characters. Because there's a couple characters that are like uh, game only characters, and I think they're my favorite. Like, there's a character named Straya that's definitely, I think, the best waifu in the show. Next to next to Shinon, Shinon's really good too. Also, um, I should mention too, because because we already had the spin off, like the what was it, Fatal? Not Fatal Bullet. Was it Fatal Bullet or was that the game? The, the that's the game, Fatal Bullet game. The the one you have like the spin off. So there's because there's a manga of uh, allization oh. where where um Kirito never like he's actually like part of the actual world there he's it, it's Kirito like the person the the in-game character not Kirito the real world person and then they show like what, what would actually happen like if they were like 
um, the admin part of the administrator is like knight integrity knights. So I could easily see them doing a spinoff like show doing that part too. So huh. they could do a spinoff in this whole allizization arc and do it justice, like actually flesh out the the story. I think it would be fine. Oh, there's a lot of flaws. So I don't even know where to start <laughs> or begin. It's it's I don't know. Like I said, I'm still gonna watch it. No hope. It, it's it's I'm sure like the animation is gonna be top notch. It's gonna be a bunch of ridiculous fights that make no sense, but it's gonna look good. I just want to get over with, and I really don't want to watch another arc of Sword Art. Come on, guys! You guys know you love it. That's why you haven't stopped yet. <laughs> no, I do. Yeah, it's more about I already started because Stren was like watching it, and I was like, fine. I made it this far. I might as well keep going. It's like I'm reaching my limit, though. But oh, you mean like for the association? Yeah. Well, I mean, like just oh. all it's like after all the Sword Art season leading up to this. Like I'm reaching my limit. I can't keep watching Sword Art. Yes, you can. Mm. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. Like I said, maybe this would be the redeeming season. Who knows? I'm gonna go with Brian on this one and say just. Just based on the PV, the PV he saw, I'm not gonna put, get my hopes up. David, but the power of friendship. No, no, I'm with Brian. The, the power of that friendship. That was so bad, man. <laughs> to be fair, Brian, we do not know if it revives him. It just showed, Bro. It just showed prayer Bro. of friendship. Legit? All right, let me tell you what led up to that point where I made my conclusion, okay? Brian, I we got won. Asuna screaming, throwing down her blade, crying. It's always she's in pain, right? I'm oh. giving my heart and my soul and my feelings and love to you. Please oh wake god. up. Oh my god. You got what's her face? His sister, right? He's like, oh, um... I'm his sister. Yeah. Who else you got? You got Shinon, right? Is that her name? Yeah. The... Sure. Yeah, she's like, I got my big ass motherfucking gun. I'm gonna yeah. give it to you too. Use my power. Pew. And then he like glows, and then why it's... put her in that 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 tier, man? She's she's at least above them. Uh, she did this. That's what she did. I know. I'm just saying. That's why I'm putting her in that tier. <laughs> and then you have fucking what's her face? Alice is flying away, crying. And then his blue sword is glowing, dude. He's oh, that's gonna be right there. Yeah. Yeah. Like... The spirit of Yujio is glowing. Yujio comes back. Oh my goodness, that's so good. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna come back in his consciousness. I like how the only good character development this show had for like other characters besides Kirito, they killed him off. <laughs> like, <laughs> they made him a fucking sword, dude. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like, why? Why? Because huh, the author probably thought like, oh, like like it'll be emotional and impactful if I kill off a character, but you just, you, you did it wrong. So it's the same thing with Yuki because Yuki was a great character too. It's like, nah, we kill her off from the disease. It's also, like, why? I, I also, I get why it. Are you and I also need to like show my I don't know my frustration with like again Reddit like where some some people keep like saying that Alice is not romantically interested in Kirito. Oh, yeah, yeah like, that's some right. people keep saying that on Reddit. I'm like, how the hell are you keep thinking this? Like, so especially after like after the Wait, last on. season was over, like there's no way you can say that now. Did they mean the actual Alice, the one that went with Yujio, or they mean like this this like, this, this Alice? This, like, this Alice, integrity, uh, night Alice. Integrity, integrity night Alice, yeah. Okay, yeah, there, that's bullshit. There's, I don't know, like people keep saying on Reddit, and like, yeah, it's a lot. That's a more frustration. Uh, that, but that's also, oh, go ahead. One more thing, but with character development, also like in the games, like again, there's like a couple characters that are only in the games. Their character development was is so good, but they don't, but they're not canon. It, so that it doesn't, you know, they're I'm doesn't mean sure, anything. I'm pretty sure they weren't written by the author either. I'm pretty sure they're written by the oh, game okay. writers. Maybe that's why. They, maybe that's why it's so much better. Also, to be fair, in the games, they give you like more time to kind of develop story. Yeah, it, basically, right. partially a visual novel where you go through a lot of prompts and like you. I mean, you, it's like hours and hours, like you know, tens of hours and of gameplay. So you have yeah. plenty of time to get the you know to figure out the characters. Anyway, that's all. I can't wait for this season to start. <sighs> that's all. For yeah, let's order. go. I think it'll be fun. It comes out. I think it says it comes out the twelfth. So. Barely, yeah, I think it's coming next Sunday, so I guess we'll have to talk about it next week. This is basically 3v1. Who are you on your own? <laughs> bro, bro, let's, like, on a serious note, let's just all agree that it's so bad that it's actually good, right? Like, come on. It's, uh, honestly, for, I don't the, know. Dude, for this last thing, yeah. how just little shows there were, I can't wait. I'll just put it that way. I'll bro, say, I mean, what I'll say that it doesn't deserve the animation budget that it gets. 
<laughs> it really doesn't. I, I agree with that too. But I'm God. gonna I'll watch it. I'll enjoy the fights. They'll be ridiculous. But it, only, and crazy. it only gets that because it makes so much money. God damn. Yeah, but again, like, what other show will you find where they develop this guy and then have him die and have him turn to a fucking sword? I mean, the the idea, like, it's it's out of this world. Better ways to do it. I'm pretty sure it's been done before, and there's better ways to do it. Well, I didn't just turn him into a sword, but like that creature thing that they face at the end was only made of swords. Mm -hmm. You know? Yep. Yep. Just terrible CGI. But anyway, the ultimate mech, man. You can't beat it. (laughs) Oh, apparently you can. I think they beat it, though, Brian. Except for them. <laughs> yep. Right, Except so, for Draco. So yeah, this, this is gonna be the return of our shit on sword art segment that we so love from the first, the very first season that we did this podcast. So let's make oh, yeah. let's make a comeback. I can't wait for the power of friendship. I've been missing that too. I can't wait for the shit on sword art segment every week. I, I can't wait till that moment happens, David, and just hear you just go off, bro. It's gonna be so. Cool. You guys, just wait. I still, I still have your. I still have your text message saved, David, from I think it was like fuck maybe ten years ago about something about the power of friendship. I have that I have that screenshot and that picture I'll have to no, send it to you. I'll, I'll have to find it and it's uh, dude, it's so good. But anyway. so besides <laughs> sort of we also have to talk about Shokigeki, how not excited we are for this last Oh season. god. Fuck I really don't even really want to watch it, I'm be honest. <laughs> Dude, again, man, we're this far. Like, we just have this season, and we are done. We are out. Basically, it matter, man. Sometimes it's uh, sometimes it's best to leave something in its prime than to finish it in its shit. Okay. No, see, I'm a man of commitments. Uh, no, 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 no. It's, it's like, for example, it's like it's it's like it's like this, man. I mean, imagine playing imagine playing a game, right? Why continue playing that game when it's shit when you can leave when it's at its best, right? Because I paid sixty dollars for it. So I'm- <laughs> See, Brian, yeah, but Brian. why why put yourself through the torture of going through the shitter when you can just leave in the Brian's the part of the people part. that stop watching Bleach after Eisen. Probably shit. If I fucking actually, if I just watched Bleach, I'd probably finish it because of the whole because of how popular it is, but. Dude, Shokigeki. Everybody knows Shokigeki is becoming shit. Everybody that's read the manga says it gets even worse. Fucking everybody can conclude that it's shit. I mean, we already had two episodes the airing before it got delayed, and like the second episode, I think it was second or no, yeah, it was nobody second. cared for it. The second episode, like we shit on that so hard, we were just not like. <laughs> I don't know, if you guys gave it credit for that first episode. Fool. I, mean, I got, was, I got baited. Look, yeah. And I had my expectations low. That's fair. But like I, I mean, we already, I already hated the the new guy. Like we are, we, we all said how much we hated yeah. that guy. Yeah, yeah. dude. Okay. Oh, Honestly, with my expert, like my expert, like sources right now, like with only two episodes out and it's only a seven point six score, dude. It's pretty fucking. Bad. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna go down. Definitely gonna go down. I don't. There's gonna be there's gonna be that like that fan base though that like I know that David hates, where they're just gonna. You know, bring up that score no matter what. I don't know. I, <laughs> think, I don't see that happening with Shogeki, but like, it, like when the when people who read the manga like don't like it, I don't see how yeah, like, who's yeah. gonna be the one that, that that they're not gonna defend saying that they didn't do the manga justice because no one's gonna defend the manga. Uh, I mean, you never know. There'll be a few, a few warriors, keyboard warriors, and then they'll fail and they'll <sighs> fall. Your favorite. Yeah, there, there are some people who are like me, but even worse, like they will defend. They're, they're garbage. But me, all I can say is that I spent $60, I'm going to get my whole money's worth, you know? I'm going to finish it. Or try to, yeah. No, no, I, I will, sir. Okay, all right. My bad, my bad. Well, the thing about anime is that, like, yeah, it's much easier to finish anime than feed a game. Cause... Yeah. But honestly, man, I don't even want to talk about this show anymore. It's basically, it's going to be just, I just feel it's going to be painful talking about this show week by week. Because we'll, it we feels can, so we'll, bad. We'll keep it short. How about that? We'll just, yeah, we'll keep it short. Or, you know what? Because like, at least, at least Sword Art, the other thing I'll say about Sword Art, it's fun to shit on. Yeah. Whereas like here, <laughs> it's like, it's not even worth shitting on. Like, I'm not. I feel depressed. Because yeah. the show was just so good. I, I, I love this show and just watching it. In a sense, like when Brian talked about how you're like you know finishing it in the prime, like it just feels bad watching how well, like how the show's done. It's sad because it's just because you can see how we, we just watch it go downhill basically. Yeah. It was like it was like one of my favorite shows. I mean, it was like, one of my favorite for you know, like just for etchiness, and they did it very well. 
it was, and I was like, it was hilarious. Well, that and also like, we don't get many like cooking shows in general, so I'm gonna really miss like watching like just yeah, just any any right. good. Yeah, so, like, uh-huh. yeah, so could, okay, let's put it like let's let's okay. So we have a cooking anime, right? And it was like Shokuge was like the big one. It was like big boom, right? It was yeah. it was amazing, right? Yeah. That, let's compare it to something like it was really new, really recent, like Dr. Stone, right? It came out big boom, like really big boom, like amazing boom, like nuke boom, right? Yes. Imagine if we took Dr. Stone and put it on the same path as Shokugeki, dude, I just hate my fucking life. <sighs> like, dude, if, it, if it came, like, I know I have faith Dr. Stone will not go down that path. I'll pray to a god wherever. <laughs> fucking, See, it doesn't go down okay. that path. But if it does, I will hate it's so fucking much, man. I would just wish that I'd never finished watching it. Honestly. Okay, the thing about Chogeki is that, like, it, the author was really heavy reliant on his, um, was it? He, he, had, he had, like, some some cooking person that he, he referenced that, that that helped, like, made the food for the shows. And, and she was, she went on maternal leave. So when she left, like, that's when basically the show went downhill. And so. Dude, like, I don't understand the superpower parts that are coming into this show now. It's oh, so God. useless. Yeah, like, yeah. imagine, like, and Dr. Stone, the MC, like, has the power of God himself to create random ash. Dude, I don't understand that. So, yeah, they're, hopefully they're Dr. Stone doesn't rely on, like, another person to, like, do all the science stuff. I'm I'm pretty sure the author... Oh, I mean, you legit so. have the entirety of the internet for science. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I honestly think, like, the second season is going to be even more solid you, than the you, first. Because it's going to be, a, like, a war. It's going to be... Yeah. Well, the only thing I'll say about Doctor Stone is that like it kind of, it kind of falls in the show and stuff a little like just show and trumps a little too much, but yeah, I don't care. But we're, That's we're, why. We're, we're we're too early for Doctor Stone. Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying. Yeah, it for, makes for, it good. I'm just saying for Shokugeki, it like it, it really suffered because yeah, they had they had like another person they had to rely on, and she left. So yeah, yeah. But one more thing for Doctor Stone, though. It, like it, I know it goes with the show and tropes, but it actually like makes fun of it in a sense that they go with those tropes. So like, if they, if they actually like secure that like early on and like they you know work with it, it's fine. But it's more like if they just all of a sudden just try to throw something in that just doesn't make any sense, and then it's just it's just so just it's just poor. Like it's just like how those stupid abilities and and Shokugeki that's all of a sudden just come out of nowhere. Why? Where was this? Why? Yeah. And then and then uh, that's uh, anyway. I could talk more about it during so, when we actually watch. We'll probably episodes, but... we'll probably keep it. Keep it short and simple for Shokugeki. Yeah, it doesn't seem like we're excited to. It's just painful to talk about. Talk it hurts. Time. Yeah. <laughs> so good. Okay, real quick oh, before God. we leave Shokugeki, dude. On the topic of food, my YouTube recommendations has like some food on it now, but that's it. I'm done. Dude, they're listening. Where are those dude. viewers? Come on, tracker, show yourself. So that's that's it. that's it for Shokugeki. So that's basically it for all the sequels that basically should have aired last season, but got pushed or delayed to the season and then i guess like um i'll talk a little bit about decadence because i'm pretty sure i'm the only one that's gonna watch it i don't even know what you this are. show is about i just someone <laughs> on twitter or some someone on uh, some random people on the internet just keep hyping this up so i'll just check it out we'll see i don't i, hey, I david I, what david real quick do you want to know the my anime list score for this no okay <laughs> I'm wondering now. <laughs> it's below a seven. Ooh, David didn't give a shit. Probably tracked. Yeah. It must. Be. I'll, I'll still <laughs> check it out. So, I don't. I I I barely read the the summary, but I don't remember much about it. So we'll, we'll wait till it actually comes out because because I didn't watch a PV either. So that's all I'm gonna say for Decadence. It's hopefully, it's something I'll keep I'll keep watching for this season, and then I'll leave it to. To anyone else, if they have any other shows they want to throw out that they're gonna watch this season, no, well, no, we we'll just give like a little view or like just kind of like a little ad. But it's like if uh, any like anybody that's listening to this wants to comment or let us know of any shows that they're watching or would want us to maybe possibly check out, or even some there's I'm gonna be watch. I'll, I'll, I'm just gonna let you guys know I'm gonna I'm gonna be watching some trash shows this season, but uh, I won't talk about them unless. Uh, <laughs> something in the comments or something's mentioned like where it's like oh you should talk about this on stream or uh or on the podcast if not i'll just i'll just leave my trash shows to me and enjoy it on my own time <laughs> you know and i'll leave it at that yeah, yeah oh 
and I guess like um I mean for like my the continuing shows, um I still have Black Clover on on a on a hold, just because I'm not gonna watch filler because I already don't think Black Clover is that good. Um, but I I mean like again I've gone I've I've come this far. I'm just gonna follow the main story still. Uh, there's some there's some supporting char- characters I still like. Um, but that's about it though. I mean, if you like, if you're if you're looking for a long show, like running show and show, don't watch this one. Pick something else up. <laughs> oh, and then even then, the ones that are already aired, yeah, watch those. Oh, and I was gonna say too, like if, when we get Sash back, we'll probably uh, One Piece is continuing, so hopefully you can get him on. Talk more about One Piece. Maybe and maybe Peter will show up here and there. Who knows? Maybe Peter. Well, well don't get your hopes up. No. Yeah. But I believe that's it. I don't think there's really any other shows. Um, Does anyone else have any other shows they would like to mention that? They might be interested in. Um, I'm interested in some shows, but I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna comment on them. Uh, the third part of Heaven's Field is supposed to come out in August. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think the they, have, they have to. Yeah, they have to release it in Japan, so it's still coming out in Japan because you know they actually contain their COVID infection, unlike unlike us, <laughs> us silly yeah. Americans. <laughs> oh, dude, don't you love being an American? Sometimes, man, know, right? we have yeah. legit states. Refusing to wear a mask because they think a mask makes you communist. Hey man, those, I fucking those, love Florida. Dude. Hey, those Florida council <laughs> meetings, man. Oh so, my. so I, I also this... I just noticed there's an OVA for Orisuki. If anybody's interested, it comes out oh, this year. Uh, I think September. I told, I, I oh, guess for September. Yeah. September, yeah. Later. So it's and still it's like, it's like the last like I guess like canon thing. Even though the manga is pretty different from the anime. So. so if it's canon, does that mean you're watching it, David? I'll I'll check it out, sure. Because it was definitely okay. a cliffhanger, like the last season. Yeah, the last episode. Last, I don't remember. It was a cliffhanger because he didn't choose any of the girls. Oh, that's but it's also okay. it, 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 it was way different than the manga too. So I can't really, I don't know. Yeah, talk- that's a that's one of the shows though that finished that I think me and Ku talked about how it started off so strong and then just kind of just went downhill quick. It was one of the many shows that told me to stop trying to, to <laughs> pour all my water. The glass isn't half full. The glass is just empty. It, there's nothing in it. Just just, just stop. And stop yet, trying. And yet this man still wants to watch Sword Art. And here we are. <laughs> here we are. It's basically like the glass is half, like it was a half empty or half full. And you're reaching for that glass and you knock it, off, like everything else out. And it's just, it's just going down. It's just falling down. I, I just it, it's more of like if it's like, I mean I obviously I, I mean I watch I watch a bunch of OVAs so even if it was filler I probably would still watch it anyway. Um, oh, I'll, but I'll, I'll say straight, are you still interested in watching that random girlfriend show? Um, well, I could be, uh, depending on comments and stuff. But if this was one of the ones I was bouncing between, ba- you know, or back and forth and watching it, I'll have to see how these shows go this season. How many are good? How many I'm very disappointed about? Because it's like it's the oh, only other like rom com that I can think of that's also not like the arm rom- or etchy. So besides, oh, oh. besides like like because Snap is like the main one, and yeah, this is the the, but, the low tier stuff. So see, yeah, when, when when I see like this stuff for low tier stuff, I immediately think like it's gonna be just terrible comedy. Like it's not even gonna be good. It's gonna be for etchiness, which it's just and just. Ridic- just ridiculous situations that really don't make any sense. Um, I could try, but I've been dropping more of these shows. We have enough shows, so I'll just I just I just yeah. that now. So that's yeah, that's it. Um, before, was anybody planning on watching the Misfit of Demon King Academy? I know that's pretty oh, high. Up, I up watched there, the first uh, episode, but oh, give us a little rundown, quick. Basically, like so, it's um like this demon lord. He basically he. He's super strong, and he reunited like the, the demon world like two thousand years ago, and then he decided to reincarnate himself two thousand years later, just to see how the world is. But then he realized that everyone's like too weak because it's so peaceful, and so he's just gonna. He's super OP, and he's super he's super cocky because you know he's how OP he is, and the you, yeah. So okay, kind of basic generic, and for some reason the animations like decent more more decent than it <laughs> deserves to be for how generic the show is but it's like people it's, there it's, man. it's just like like the the show that you watch while you're while you're, you're on your bed watch on your ipad or something so nothing okay 
nothing too special just filler if, if you're while you're waiting for your other shows air just yeah okay yeah like in all honesty it's nothing spectacular uh but it's still enjoyable like if anything i can probably say i'd probably give it a like a six or seven out of ten just it's it's enjoyable it's watchable but i, I wouldn't expect any like crazy plot twists or anything that's like amazing so so you, you watched it too then yep oh nice you basically well, the problem is the show it doesn't seem like there's gonna be much to talk about it's just gonna be the basic op mc and then it's just gonna be how he develops throughout the story so the usual yep yep gotcha. it's just that, like he knows how op he is so he's being he's being super cocky about it so he's not afraid to show his powers that's like i mean that's why would you because like other shows you know like how like other the other mcs like they're always like hesitant to use their their powers or they try to hide it and this guy's not trying to hide it and he knows how strong he is that's like the only thing differentiating it, but it's been done so much before already. So again, it's not worth not worth like like yeah, talking much about. Yeah. So I mean, we'll, we'll see what happens in the next episode. But judging from the first episode, there's not gonna be much to talk about with each episode. Right. Oh, and uh, another show too is uh, Digimon. <laughs> but no. I, we haven't really decided though if we're gonna talk about it though. I really don't. No. I don't want to no. anymore. Okay. I mean, I'm gonna keep watching it. I'll just so know. You I'll should just... watch the old series. Just go on Hulu and go uh, watch the, the '90s show. See, the, the the nice thing about this Digimon series is like I'm, well, I'm two episodes behind now. But before that, I'm pretty caught up. So it feels like okay, like it's right there. I can just be caught up with it. I don't have to worry about it. Or you when I watch looking... one episode a week instead of watching Digimon Adventures. Oh, so hard though. Oh my god. Pain. I don't know. It's uh, I'll I'll. Um, like let's say if, if for some reason our podcast goes short or something, I might just like mention at the end of it, just like it, it's like oh this stuff is going on blah blah blah, blah. We'll, but we'll see. Or if somebody other you know mentions it, you know they, they would like to know our thoughts on it or something, or um, then we can mention it. But I'll I'll be caught up with I'll be caught up to it next week, just in case. <sighs> yeah. Until then, I don't really care to talk about it. We I have mean, a bunch of shows. Don't, I mean, don't worry too much about length too, just because like the first the beginning of the season is always it's always hard to do talk about just because like the first episodes usually uh, nothing usually happened even in sequels like it still sets up so yeah so but anyway we'll still yeah. up pretty short i think not too long episode next week yeah so that's another show i'll be watching but yeah, i think that is all yeah. so that's that's it for this week this is basically the preview for shows that we should have been talking about last season so I'm finally here though, and it's like hopefully no more delays. So we're excited to finally get to get to these sequels. So I can't wait. I've been waiting for all these shows for it feels feels like forever now. Yeah, I can't wait. So that's gonna be it for this week's episode. I want to thank everyone in the audience for listening. Everyone who always makes it this far to the end, I always appreciate that. I want to thank my panelists for. For joining me this week, thanks, guys. Really enjoyed your conversations we had this week. Woo! This is fun. I just can't wait more. Oh god, I just can't wait for this season yeah. where it's just going to be the game. discussions. The game every season is new, always exciting. So, looking forward to it. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. 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 Don't fly high.